In the annals of medieval lore, few legends are as enduring and captivating as that of King Arthur. This legendary British leader, shrouded in the mists of time, is said to have led the Knights of the Round Table, established the utopian Kingdom of Camelot, and embarked on the elusive quest for the Holy Grail. The tale of King Arthur is a rich tapestry of chivalry, romance and adventure, blending historical facts with mythic elements to create a timeless epic. The story of King Arthur begins in the troubled times following the Roman withdrawal from Britain around the 5th century. According to legend, Arthur was born to King Uther Pendragon and Igraine, the wife of the Duke of Cornwall. His birth was shrouded in mystery and magic, as Merlin, the great wizard and advisor, played a crucial role in his conception and upbringing. To protect him from enemies, Merlin placed the infant Arthur in the care of Sir Ector, a loyal knight. Arthur's destiny was revealed when he was a young squire. Upon the death of King Uther, Britain was left without a ruler and the land was plunged into chaos. Merlin proclaimed that the true king would be the one who could pull a magnificent sword from a stone, a feat deemed impossible by many. However, young Arthur, unaware of his royal lineage, effortlessly drew the sword Excalibur from the stone, proving his right to the throne. This miraculous event marked the beginning of Arthur's reign and the establishment of Camelot. Camelot, Arthur's legendary court, became a symbol of chivalry, justice and grandeur. It was a place where the best and bravest knights gathered, bound by the code of chivalry and dedicated to the ideals of honour, loyalty and courage. At the heart of Camelot stood the Round Table, a magnificent piece of furniture gifted to Arthur by Guinevere's father as part of her dowry. The Round Table, with no head or foot, symbolized equality among Arthur's knights, who were known as the Knights of the Round Table. Among these knights were some of the most famous figures of Arthurian legend, Sir Lancelot, the greatest of Arthur's knights and his closest friend, Sir Gawain, known for his strength and chivalry, Sir Galahad, the pure and virtuous knight destined to find the Holy Grail, and Sir Percival, whose innocence and bravery were unmatched. Together they embarked on numerous quests and adventures, upholding the values of Camelot and protecting the realm from threats. One of the most enduring tales associated with King Arthur is the quest for the Holy Grail. The sacred cup said to have been used by Jesus at the Last Supper and later by Joseph of Arimathea to collect Jesus' blood at the crucifixion. The Grail was believed to possess miraculous powers, offering eternal youth, healing and sustenance. Finding the Grail became the ultimate quest for Arthur and his knights, symbolizing the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment and divine grace. The quest for the Holy Grail was fraught with peril and trials. Only the purest and most virtuous knights could hope to achieve this sacred mission. Sir Galahad, the illegitimate son of Sir Lancelot, emerged as the key figure in the Grail quest. His purity and unwavering faith enabled him to find the Grail and achieve a vision of divine revelation. However, the Grail's discovery did not bring lasting peace to Camelot, as the kingdom was beset by internal strife and betrayal. The tragic love affair between Sir Lancelot and Queen Guinevere, Arthur's beloved wife, led to the downfall of Camelot. Their forbidden love caused a rift among the knights and weakened Arthur's rule. Sir Mordred, Arthur's nephew and bitter enemy, exploited this division to seize power. The final battle between Arthur and Mordred at Camelon resulted in Mordred's death and Arthur's mortal wounding. As he lay dying, Arthur instructed Sir Bedivere to return Excalibur to the Lady of the Lake, from whom it had originally come. Arthur's death marked the end of Camelot and the dispersal of the Knights of the Round Table. According to legend, Arthur was taken to the mystical Isle of Avalon to be healed, with the promise that he would return when Britain needed him most. This promise of Arthur's return, known as the once and future king, has kept his legend alive through the centuries. The tale of King Arthur and his knights has been told and retold in countless forms, from medieval romances and epic poems to modern novels and films. Authors like Geoffrey of Monmouth, Sir Thomas Mallory and Alfred Lord Tennyson have each added their own layers to the legend, enriching it with new characters, themes and adventures. King Arthur's legend continues to captivate because it speaks to universal themes of heroism, honor, love, and the eternal struggle between good and evil.
It is a story that transcends time and culture, offering a vision of a noble and just society that, while flawed and ultimately doomed, represents humanity's highest ideals. As we recount the legend of King Arthur, we celebrate the enduring power of myth and the timeless appeal of stories that inspire us to strive for greatness, even in the face of adversity. The rise and fall of Camelot, the bravery of the Knights of the Round Table, and the quest for the Holy Grail remind us of the enduring quest for meaning, purpose, and the hope that heroes will rise again when we need them most.